thank you for joining us today. Won't you join us by liking our Facebook page and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'd appreciate it. Good morning and welcome to our Sunday School lesson. My name is Reverend Theron L. Jones I, and I'm an Associate Minister at the Greater Queens Missionary Baptist Church, located at 6758 South Wabash Avenue in Chicago, Illinois, where our pastor is the Ke Reverend Kevin Wilkes. Let us open with a word of prayer. Father God, teach me your ways that I might be more like you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And thank God. Our lesson for today is entitled, The Word Heals. Come from, again, we stay in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 4, verses 46 to 54. And the main thought or the memory verse it's John 4 and 53, which read thusly. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, Thy son liveth, and himself believed, and his whole house. Again, as we continue in John, in our unit two for this quarter, unit two theme partners, and a new creation, and unit two theme, the the unit theme, the word, the agent of creation. Jesus' earthly ministry, which we know is recorded in the book of John, in chapters 2, verse 1, to chapter 11, verse 57. His seven miracles, the first being at the wedding, at Canaan, John 2, verses 1 through 12, his seven teaching discourses or sermons, which proves over and over again that Jesus is the Son of God. And today's lesson records his second miracle, but in the same chapter, verse chapter 4, verses 1 through 39, where Jesus met the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well and she, she was made whole in spite of being a despised woman and had had five husbands and the man she was with now at that time wasn't her husband but Jesus offered her him the living water that she shall thirst no more. She accepted and Jesus forgave her sins and made her whole. And she departed as a witness to other Samaritans, which brings us to today's lesson. Now Jesus has returned to Canaan the site of his miracle at the wedding, where he turned water not just into the wine, but into the best wine. And this is how Jesus' earthly ministry started to claim himself as the Messiah and the Son of God. Verse 46. So Jesus came again into Canaan of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And that's verse 46a. And a man who we don't know nothing about, he's not identified, but he was official because it says in verse 46b, and there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick of Capernaum. A nobleman, that means he was an official who worked for Herod, he was uh, the, who was the administrator of Galilee. He had a sick son in Capernaum and which was Jesus's home base in Galilee but about 16 miles from Canaan and the this nobleman knew look at verse 47 when he heard that Jesus would come out of 
Judea into Galilee, he went unto him. The nobleman knew that Jesus was coming to Galilee and traveled those 16 miles to speak to Jesus. He said, and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. He traveled them 16 miles that he would come and heal his son. It's obviously that the man knew of Jesus' claim to divine power and authority and knew of the miracle at the wedding. His son is at the point of death. Jesus responds in a, a very critical manner. He is questioning either the man or those Galileans and Jew Jewish people that have continued to request that Jesus perform miracles, signs, John 2, chapter 2, verse 18, and chapter 6, verse 30, to prove to his divinity, authority, and power. And, and this is in verse 48, then Jesus said unto him, except you see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. He thought he was just another person coming that say, prove that you is Jesus. And the nobleman now requests that Jesus come to his house because the son is about to die and Jesus' presence is all that's needed. He believes that just the presence of God in his house would heal his son. Verse 49, the nobleman said unto him, Sir, come down ere my child die. In the past, prophets that healed children, it was known they had to come and visit the child to heal them, they had to be present in the same space that the person that needed to be healed was in. But Jesus tell him to go, to go home because he, he is not going to live, is not going to die, but is already alive. He lived. He lived. It said right here. It say, Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy son liveth. He didn't say he's going to live. He said he liveth. That means he is alive already. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him, and he went his way. Because Jesus is the living word, and just as he spoke creation into being, he now speaks life back into his son and and our text now speaks to the faith of this man the, the man didn't ask no questions the man and the man believed the word that jesus had spoken unto him and went his way the, the man took jesus at his word that and and the word said he believed for whatever reason, he didn't ask for immediate sign or any questions, Jesus worked. He just went about his way believing that this Jesus speaking was enough to heal and raise his son who was near death. On the way home, to emphasize that as the son of, as Jesus said, that the son liveth, that immediately the full power of life entered back into his body. That his servants came running to meet him on his way back home to tell him that his son was alive. Verse 51. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Thou son 
ladies. The man now asked his servant, what time was his son healed? And they answered the seven hours, which is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Verse 52. Then inquired he of them the hour which he came to men. And they said unto him, yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. Now we find out what was wrong with the young man, the son. He had a bad fever. And the man now realized that at the very moment Jesus spoke, the fever left his son and he was healed. Verse 53, eight. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in which Jesus said unto him, Thou son liveth, and himself believed in his whole house. And what a blessing. Now, because of this blessing, not only does he believe and accept Jesus as his Messiah, but his whole entire household, which would include his servants, his in-laws, his closest friends, whoever lived in that household and made up that household in whatever manner, they all believe because of the healing of this young man by Jesus. The second miracle John speaks of Jesus performing in Canaan of Galilee, his homeland. Other miracles had been performed by Jesus, John 2 and 23, John 4 and 45, but Jesus is at a home ministering, verse 54, the closing verse. This is again the second miracle that Jesus did when he was come out of Gal Judea into Galilee. And the word heals. Often as humans, we first we first pray for and look for physical healing. If we seek spiritual healing through faith, as this nobleman did for his son, spiritual healing is, is able also to also relieve physical suffering. Sometimes when the, when the spirit is not totally right, it affects the body. And when the body is not totally right, it can affect the spirit. And just as the man, we just have to believe that God has done what he has done is going to do what he is doing and will do what he said he will do in the future. And all that he has promised shall come to pass. He has ultimate power and authority over all because he is the divine God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The organizer, the creator, and the administrator. And again, on behalf of our pastor, we thank you for being a part of our Sunday School lesson in the Greater Queens Missionary Baptist Church and the membership. Thank you. Let us pray. God bless and God keep us all. Amen. Thank God. Thank you for joining us today. We hope and pray that this Sunday School lesson has made you want to learn just a little bit more about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why don't you join us for our Sunday School at 10 o'clock, morning worship at 1130. We look forward to seeing you there. Until then, tell somebody you love them.